Pachinko by Min Jin Lee is a sweeping family saga that records the life and times of four generations of a Korean family. We start in 1883 in a small fishing village in Yongdo and follow them through the years to 1989. Quite an effort, and a very interesting book to read. Jin Lee does a good job of describing the situation of many Korean economic migrants during the pre- and post-war periods. The Koreans were despised in Japan as dirty working-class plebeians, and back home in Korea, they were looked down on for abandoning their country and becoming Japanized. They were forever stuck in a horrible limbo where even if they were born in Japan, they had to register as foreigners and never really felt like they had somewhere they could call home. The life of working multiple jobs, grinding poverty, two or three generations living in a small two-room house, and the struggle to get an education is really well conveyed. For me, the first two-thirds of this book are a five-star read. This is where the story of a character called Sunja comes to the forefront, and her dedication to her family and eking out a living in terrible circumstances is inspiring, even though it's a work of fiction, because this situation was faced by many people across Asia in the pre- and post-war years. Sunja is a rock for those around her, but also has her private fears that we are made privy to as readers, and as such, she is the one I found myself cheering on as I read her story. The final third, though, felt to me like it devolved into a time-jumping rush with barely fleshed-out characters we're meant to feel something for. After such a wonderful long dive into the lives of the first three generations, the story leading up to the conclusion in the 1980s hardly dwelled on anyone long enough to get connected to. There are some events that are included that have no effect on the overall story, and by the time I finished reading, some of the joy that I had through the bulk of the book had faded somewhat. Kinda wish the first two thirds was one book on its own, and the final third was a sequel book. This would give us the opportunity to slow down and develop things better, and not jump around and get disconnected from the core characters, and have no time to get attached to the new generation of characters. That aside, this is an excellent book that, by way of the story of one family, teaches you about a time and place in history that you may not know too much about. And as such, I recommend it if you like long, winding, family drama-based fiction. (laughs) 